SAQ-12 Rigid Bronchoscopy The case A 71-year-old patient requires a rigid bronchoscopy for biopsy and possible laser resection of an endobronchial tumour. A. Outline the options available to maintain anesthesia and manage gas exchange. Maintenance of anesthesia is determined primarily by method of management of gas exchange. Options include volatile anesthetics. This is not possible with jet ventilation. Awareness is more likely if volatile agent is used with intermittent ventilation. Second option is total intravenous anesthesia. This can be used with any technique for gas exchange. Muscle relaxant and remifentanil to ensure immobility. Short-acting opioids are useful due to the highly stimulating nature of rigid bronchoscopy. Management of gas exchange depends on the specific bronchoscope used. Not all options are compatible with all bronchoscopes. Intermittent ventilation with or without oxygen insufflation via side port may be sufficient for the diagnostic aspect of the procedure, but does not offer sufficient ventilation for resection. Controlled ventilation via the side port of a ventilating bronchoscope is another option. Other options include manual low-frequency jet ventilation and automated high-frequency jet ventilation. B. How will use of the laser change the management of anesthesia? Management of anesthesia will have to account for patient safety, general theatre safety, and readiness for airway fire. Patient safety. Maintain FiO2 as low as possible, for example less than 0.4, thus used with jet or conventional ventilation. Saline soap gauze over mouth and teeth, goggles for the patient. Ensure all equipment used to instrument the airway is laser compatible. General theatre safety, goggles for staff, signage on doors, locked theatre doors with blinds down, presence of laser trained staff member, assurance of equipment maintenance, readiness for airway fire, alertness, stringers of saline ready for flooding the airway, airway equipment prepared in case surgery needs to be abandoned and the patient needs to be intubated and ventilated on FIO21. C. What are the possible complications of rigid bronchoscopy? Complications may be divided into those due to anesthesia and surgery. Anesthetic complications includes barotrauma associated with jet ventilation. Barotrauma may lead to pneumothorax, pneumomediastinum, pneumopericardium, pneumoperitoneum and subcutaneous emphysema. Accidental awareness during GA due to intermittent anesthesia delivery. Inadequate gas exchange which leads to hypercapnia, hypoxia. There is increased risk with existing lung pathology. Reduced venous return due to increased intrathoracic pressures associated with gas trapping. Reduced venous return leads to reduced preload and hypotension. Dysrhythmias leads to CVS instability and is associated with jet ventilation. Airway contamination due to ventilation without airway protection. Laryngospasm and bronchospasm may occur. Surgical complications include soft tissue trauma, for example, to the lips, tongue, vocal cords, trachea and bronchi. Airway edema leads to airway compromise or airway obstruction post-procedure. This is due to soft tissue trauma. Dental damage may occur. Hemorrhage, pneumothorax may occur due to soft tissue trauma or during resection of lesions. Cervical spine damage may occur. Assess range of movement preoperatively. There is higher risk with cervical pathology such as rheumatoid arthritis or cervical spondylosis. Consider radiological assessment.